radial. We started on time. That means we get to do an hour of it. What's up, Justin Robert Young? Hey, man. What's going on, dude? Um, What's up? I got What's a, up? I got a, uh, I, I got an Impossible Burger update. An Impossible update. Oh, yeah. All right. So when we last met our our hero, hmm. he had uh, been on a fairly restrictive diet. Yep. A very restrictive diet for for a series of weeks, if not months. Uh, he then decided to treat himself. Yep. With an impossible burger, uh, then the digestive hell which was wrought almost made him believe that counter to all scientific recorded study, he had contracted COVID again. Uh, That's how much gastric distress was wrought by this impossible burger. Accurate, accurate. Uh, before and after, I guess that was the same day as uh, as as Christopher Titus, right? That was that was was. The- you gamed it out. Yeah, you uh, you you I think booted like twice if not thrice before the show yep. and then rallied all throughout the Titus episode and then immediately booted again and then booted your ass on home so you could rehydrate and go to sleep. Yeah, and and we never, you know, we never really had any way to know whether or not uh it was the burger or or an actual, you know, illness, but you know, like we were talking about, I was like, well, maybe you know, maybe now that I've had COVID, us actually going out into a world where everybody wears a mask somehow, maybe I picked up a traditional bug or something like that. And yeah. uh, uh, went and had another Impossible Burger. Now this time, figured I'd play it safe. I yeah. intended to only have half the burger and no fries, right? Going to play okay. it safe, safe. Yep. Ended up having the whole burger, but no cheese. I think the previous one, it was the full burger with cheese and fries with or whatever. With cheese, gotcha, so, yeah. yeah. This one's pretty plain Jane. Um, yep. Didn't full throw up, but sure enough, like, uh, like, like I, I had, I had the, the baby throw ups, you know, the, the, Ooh, I've got to go open the gates. And then, uh, and so I held the door open and, uh, uh, we, we have a winner. Yeah. Uh, uh, I feel like you have, there are, there are, man, this is going to be a great episode for us to come back for a full hour on, but like, uh, there are throw up people and then not throw up people. Everybody throws up if your body demands it. Right. right? But I do think that culturally there is a, I'm going to say permissiveness, but I don't mean it in a, in, in any kind of context, except to say that it happens more often uh, that like I'm jealous of. Cause I feel like <laughs> there are people in my life for whom use vomiting as a relief mechanism. Oh yeah. For yeah. which my body will not allow well, of it, me. Um, it, it, uh, uh, cause I, I know what you're talking about. Like, like I, I, it, I, I had that thought fairly recently too. It's like, I don't know if, you know, you get, you get older and your, your, your up, your, your upstairs sphincters get looser or whatever. But it's like, I remember thinking, man, I remember being scared of throwing up, like throwing up was the worst possible thing. And I remember always being surprised at the relief you felt after throwing up. Yeah. And now it's just like, yeah, let's just go do that thing that brings relief. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, it, it, after a night of drinking, like it was always chicks. Chicks were the ones who clued me into this, like in my life, like in like college or high school that were like, oh, drank a little bit too much. Do I feel the spins? Boot, brush my teeth, and then go to sleep. <laughs> and boy, to am bed. I going to feel a lot better, right? And then I started asking people about it, and you find out that this is like a sizable amount of the population. And then it extends more than just destructive drinking. There's like, oh, I just have an upset stomach. Let me just try to vomit real quick and then be well, done and, with it. And it's not even so much trying, so much as just saying like, all right, buddy, is it time? You know, knock, knock, knock. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to... I'm just going to make this door. I'm not even going to open the door for you. I'm just going to unlock the door. How you feeling? And then sometimes your body's just like, uh, oh, thank God. I've been waiting outside. And that's, and that's, <laughs> that's the difference. I have, I have none of that. I have none of, I can't. I, I, I don't know what it was, whether I was shamed as a child, but there is some 
brain blockage for which like the only way that I vomit is if I am like insanely sick and my body is literally just like, all right, things are coming out no matter what. Right. Uh, if it could shoot out of your ears, like a, uh, like a, like a, like a eighties sci-fi comedy trope or something like it would. Um, and, and, uh, uh, and then that's it. That's the only way that it happens. Uh, any kind of like, Oh, well this might make me, this would bring me relief. It just is not, it's not, I'm not programmed. I don't know. And I've, I've, I've regret, I've tried and I can't. Yeah. We should stop talking about throwing up. <laughs> we, should, wait, should. We, should, we should think about other things. Probably should. <laughs> uh, can we talk about what happened yesterday? Or is that going to be saved for, uh, save for, for debut on YouTube? Oh shoot. Which part of yesterday? You gave me a call yesterday uh, uh, I, 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 me and you had an interaction keep going wherein you were shooting one of your two shows oh and you were giving me directions yes okay yeah we yeah we uh, sure we, we, we can talk about that uh uh yes uh what's yeah, okay. well no yeah i don't i don't yeah there's a funny yes i i had to change to okay uh uh let's start with the ending um you know you know that freaking uh, uh series not great about letting you put in a middle name like uh like you had a middle name and then you got reduced to two names first name the okay uh yeah. and then uh and then uh and then i couldn't um uh, put in a middle name again so now your first name is justin robert and your last name is young according to siri and wow I, that's I, weird yeah like like here open up my contact and see if you could add see if it's obvious to you how to add a middle name because i i spent about my maximum attention span which is uh, about four minutes um not being able to figure out how to add a middle name for for you and it just became just a robert young and previously it was first name middle name last name Meryl Barr is asking about the Santa hat, at which point I say, oh, you should have been tuned in for weird things, in which it was explained. There is no explanation. He's just going to wear a Santa hat. This is just what this is my life. No, I don't. I, I have run out of things to think of when it comes to that, unless it's like in some. Oh, oh, wait. If you go to the very bottom of everything, you could do ad field. <laughs> ad field, middle <laughs> name. The, you okay. know, that, that natural place that you would look for a middle name button. Not, not, it is after first name, okay, but I literally, not before I, last name. From, from now until forever, your full three named, <laughs> your full name. Your, I just entered your middle name oh, into, good. Uh, into my contact. So we will always... Uh, Good. We will. We will always have that. Uh, yeah. So, so then we can spoil the fact that, uh, and and longtime viewers will be familiar with what we were up to. But uh, uh, Justin's contact name was the government for uh, for a hot minute. Okay. So, how about you walk you walk us through? Oh, the, the beginning. Because <laughs> I feel like this is we're gonna give away a Tuesday night level story. For okay. you here on on Monday. So, okay. So walk us walk us through. Uh, uh, uh you're shooting. Yeah. Uh, so so the, so uh, the yeah. show with Joseph. If if you have been watching, I mean, duh. If you've been watching every single episode of Scam School and now Scam Nation for the last twelve years, then yeah. obviously you're familiar with the season one episode twenty seven, uh, in which we called "Crack the Government Conspiracy," in which I loop in. Uh, 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 your your friend of mine, MC Jelly D, to play the government, and uh, the idea for the trick is, yeah, a card is selected, and then you say, I don't know, you know, only you and I know what the card is, but also the government knows, and then you call the government, and then some, and then the government said, yeah, this is the government. We uh, have cameras everywhere, and we watch you jerk off, and your card was the 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 two of diamonds, and then it hangs up, right? And yeah. so, uh. Uh, we've revisited it in Scam School Remix, but now we're in this phase where, uh, you know, quite literally, Josie was still in diapers when uh, if she was an infant, uh, not even crawling yet when we yeah. shot that episode. So now it's kind of fair game. There's all this golden material that was first round of, of Scam School episodes that we get to revisit. And so now that we're shooting stuff with just me and Josie, I call Justin to yeah, explain like, hey, uh, oh, oh, I was going to have Bonnie be the government. But then instead yeah. I was like, Oh, Justin would be way funnier. So let me call Justin and explain it. And, right, and now pause. this is the part where I think yeah. 
in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll just remind him of how this thing goes. He can play the government. We'll do the bit. It'll be great. And then, uh, uh, and then, and I suspect that what to me was a trivial reminder of a very obvious magic thing probably played a little bit different from your perspective. Well, we smash cut to Justin Robert Young, uh, uh, thousands of miles away in Oakland, California, relaxing after a a a, a week of uh, doing stuff and and. Every Sunday afternoon, I like to just sit up there on my roof and I play some more stuff. I don't focus on any work. I just listen to a few podcasts that I'll like. I'll save for that period. It's a nice little sanctuary, uh, and I'll drink some beer. However, yesterday, I decided to mix in a joint. Okay, and so I am now pretty high at the point <laughs> that, <laughs> that uh, this is, the, this is, this, what, what i love about this is is both the novelty of finding this out and also the novelty of this sounding an awful lot like one of the night attack album tracks in which i found out years later that when we did the me go pee pee in your coke night then that you were coming down off of a that i was on a, acid yeah, yeah exactly. exactly yeah um <laughs> So I'm a little high and Brian calls and Brian launches into explaining the Mr. Wizard trick, which if you've been friends with Brian for long enough, you understand that a full quarter, 25% of all phone calls initiated by Brian to you start with have you ever seen, have you ever done, have you ever to go? Are you familiar thing, with, do you, you know? With? Yeah. Uh, because, and this is, you can tell me whether or not I'm, I'm barking up the wrong tree here, Brian, but you will have a thought or an experience. And then you'll be like, you know, who's got to hear this. You know who I got to get a, a, a read on this, this person, you'll call them up. But like, the metaphor will be what leads into it. Right. Like well, there it, will not be like, Hey, I just went to Chick-fil-A. Have you ever read Moby Dick? And you know, when Ahab is like, bah, 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 it's never, there's never the, the, the grounding of reality. It just goes right into the metaphor. And then you find out why this metaphor matters, uh, you know, however long later, which, which by the way, that's a, that's a privileged status that you have. I don't, I don't do that for just everybody. That's, that's I, uh, somewhere I, out there are some people who are like, Brian never does that with me. He always says, I, hello, how are you? <laughs> I treasure and love it. I, I never want it to go away. However, in any uh, 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 mental state, let alone the mental state that I was in when I received this call, we go through the full method of a of the Mr. Wizard trick before I realize that Brian's not trying to explain like the internet going out well, okay, or whether or not there's going to be a septic tank problem or any of the millions of things that the Mr. Wizard trick could be used as a metaphor for. So smash cut to back to my my perspective. Uh, 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 hello, this is Justin. Uh, uh, or yo, motherfucker. <laughs> like in my yeah. world. Um, I, I assume that's not how you answer the Oh, God, please tell me that is how you answer the phone to everybody. Russia Today calls and you're like, what's up, motherfucker? Sup, motherfucker? <laughs> no, that is that is that is solely for Brian. Yeah. Brian, uh, Brian alone gets the sup, motherfucker. But so from my perspective, it's like, uh, hey, do you know the Mr. Wizard trick? You're like, ah, uh, remind me. And it's like and I go through it again and, and, and you're like, ah, yes. OK. And then it's like, uh, great. So we'll be calling you in just a bit because we're going to do it. And then and then and, uh, and then. And then and then it occurs to me that I've misread the situation when you, when your reply was, "Oh, I'm sorry. I thought all of this was a setup for a metaphor." <laughs> <laughs> and I realized like something about you in that moment and me uh, in general. <laughs> like, like, I'm the type so of person like, where that would be a metaphor. I'm like, okay, all right. Tell me it again because now I'll pay attention. Before I was just waiting to get to the time where you were gonna return a fucking receipt to Best Buy or some shit. Like whatever, whatever was the actual story was going to be. Um, and so he explains it to me again, at which point I am now at a decision gate because he, Brian also lets me know that uh uh this is gonna be shooting on scam school with Josie. It's like, okay, in my state, can I both remember how to do this? <laughs> Because it's it's not and, insignificant. Like, 
Yeah. Uh, like, to be honest, like Bonnie with the distraction of the dogs and the kids and all that stuff. I was just like, oh, man, she's going to feel like this is heavy pressure to perform under fire. And she probably won't, you know, have a good time with it. It's, yeah. it's, and, uh, and you also kind of got to be funny and you got to be funny, like for this new wholesome version of of the show because otherwise i would have been like dude this is gonna be great i'm really high make sure you <laughs> tell the camera that i'm really high if it were you know the older version of of, of scam school that would have been a, a super funnier, on the nose yeah so, yeah on a, brand a, a magic trick so easy a high person can do it it would have been like the the key art or whatever yeah um but now not so much this is a whole different world so it's like okay i now need to make a high decision the high decision is do we adventure or do we, do we surrender? Right? Like, do I now enter into possibly choppy waters and rely on my high brain to make up for things if it screws up? Or like, do I just say, Hey, fuck it. I'd love to dude. Turns out I smoked a joint on my roof and I'm, 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 I'm not, I, I don't think I would be able to put it together. So give, give a call to somebody else. And I decide that we're going to adventure. Awesome. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and and go ahead. With it. Well, and if it helps, even if you had disclosed that at the time, I would have encouraged you. Yeah, man, it's low stakes. If it doesn't work out, we could just do it again. Like whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's uh, th that is one of the nice things in that uh, previous shoots. You know, ten years worth of shoots were always high stakes, high drama, all or nothing. And even then, they were kind of low stakes in that. It's like, well, now we have to shoot the whole trick over again with a different group of people. Sure. But yeah. you really only get one shot of that authentic reaction, you know. Uh, but uh, but but so you so you go for it, and I believe I believe between that moment and the performance is, I need to call you about something else. And, and, yes. And and the moment I call you, you are performing the trick and i have to interrupt i'm like no 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 we're not doing the trick <laughs> yeah no, so first he's like ah. all right two things are very funny <laughs> number one i'm like playing hearthstone so i gotta i gotta stop playing hearthstone while i'm doing i'm like like i cannot I, I might barely be able to do this i gotta knock off hearthstone number two all right i gotta remember the four suits. It, this involves oh, me I remembering. About that. This, this, this involves me. The trick involves me remembering all four suits, right? It and makes so much more all the sense numbers. now. Oh. So in my head, I'm like, cool. Fucking all right. Here we go. Oh my God. Four suits, four suits, four suits. Easy, easy, oh. easy. Uh, hearts, oh. diamonds, clubs clovers no that's lucky charms it's lucky charms is clovers what's the fourth the fourth is not clovers it's it's not clovers it's spades okay whatever you do forget about clovers just don't say clovers forget about clovers clovers are not one of the four suits in a deck of cards just whatever you do don't think about clovers and so brian we, we run through it once or twice and it goes fine got it and no problem right it's showtime. And so I can hear Josie in the background being adorable Josie and being like, what, what, what are you doing? And Brian's, uh, 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 you know, does the thing and without getting into it, like it requires me possibly naming all of the things before I'm, I'm signaled. Right. Uh, and so I literally get to <laughs> hearts <laughs> Diamonds, <laughs> spades, and then that motherfucking leprechaun just pops up in my field of vision. That Wait. motherfucking leprechaun is just like, clovers? Is it clovers? Is it clovers? It should probably clovers. You should say clovers. And I'm just like, no, I'm having this internal battle. Like, it's not fucking clovers. It's not fucking clovers. Oh. And I'm like, and then, because it's fucking with me, because now I'm like, like, cloak. Cl cl clover clove no it's not clover clubs and brian's like yes and then we go well, but 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 uh what's from my perspective uh it was it was just like hearts diamonds and then with finality <laughs> spades and then i'm like he he said that last one like that was the last one on the list. Oh, <laughs> and no, then, I was just trying to remember. I was just stuttering. I just kept wanting to say clover so fucking bad. And then, and then, uh, and so I wait an inordinate amount of time for that part of the trick. 
<laughs> and so, and then Brian, it might have felt like five minutes to you. It was a full year in my brain. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was a year of me battling with the leprechaun, <laughs> like, like trying to like fucking be oh. back, Satan. It's not a clover. It's yeah. not a clover. He's like, he's like, oh, so let me get this straight. You're high pretending to be the government, and you want to tell me what the four suits are. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch, you tricksy Irish fuck. Get out of my brain. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, and so, I finally get to the clubs, and then we do the thing, and and uh, oh. and then really at that point, it's all downhill because in my brain, I'm just like, just don't scream the f word, like whatever you do, <laughs> like like this is a children's magic show now, just don't scream the f word because it's a very animated character for which I am I am set to play because I'm the government, and so I need to be like aggressive, like hey, we're the government, you better watch out because we're watching at all times, and I'm just like. Like, all right, I've done this a billion times with Brian. I've I've done the I'm doing a voice. The voice is here. And normally there's a motherfucker, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking fucker. Like, I'm just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We don't do it. Everything's great. It was well, so once I realized, like, oh wait, this is not the easiest thing. And I did just give Justin all of a 90-second primer on it, and that's all <laughs> he's gonna get. So, you know, as a result, I was like, it's fine, you know, we'll 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 massage whatever, you know, pacing issues there are in the amount of time I'm waiting. But man, oh man, the moment the moment you had the thing and uh and you switch into performance mode, like it was like watching a switch get flipped where all of a sudden it's like Oh, now I just do the thing where I'm being funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is easy. <laughs> I've got muscle memory on this. I can do anything uh, I, oh, except yeah. for it that magic just, trick. <laughs> except yeah, for remember the four suits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So there is there is like no problem. And then Brian calls me back again. And that's where I just start going like hearts, clovers, claws, <laughs> space. Uh, and uh, 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 and Brian's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not calling you for that. Uh, uh, just uh, uh, give it another five minutes, and uh, we're gonna call you back. And Josie's gonna do yeah. the trick. Now that is heartbreaking for me because I thought I had just. Oh no! You I thought you were free. Just when they thought we were free, so we pull you back in. And now it's like, now it's higher stakes because it's Josie. Like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm really... literally higher now. It's been ten more minutes. <laughs> it's been, I'm even higher. <laughs> and then like, the leprechaun pops up. That's what you're getting for rebuking me, you motherfucker. <laughs> and I'm like, you shut up. Uh, <laughs> Josie calls, and we're doing the bit. And this time, I straight up forget the number. Oh, yeah, that's up, right. <laughs> I straight up forget the number. And it's it's mostly because on my... This time, I'm taking precautions. I'm like, I can't screw up with Josie. So now I have my phone out. I've listed all the four suits. So I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't get clovered again. <laughs> I've listed all the four suits. And I have the last... Uh, thing the last like number combination that we had just done but for whatever reason my app wouldn't bring up the the uh, keypad so like i'm trying to delete the last thing that we had done and now all i'm doing is looking at that and then josie is giggling and being adorable and laughing and you're probably doing some monkey dance in the corner that I can't see because it's a hilarious, amazing video. And so everybody's having a good time and I totally blank. And I just have to tell Josie, Josie, to say the government screwed up and the government's not <laughs> on the phone, hang up and call me back. Because <laughs> the government definitely wrote down the wrong number. Because <laughs> the government can't figure out how to work his notes app and it's a really stressful and menial task right now. I mean, our, luckily, our luckily, tech. all of that was what we call the uh, the C block, which is the part where where the, the, the student has to perform it back. And it's like, if anything's going to go wrong, it actually makes the episode better if it, if it yeah. happens in the C block because it, it's a, a, a learning opportunity to be all like, hey man make sure that you know if you do this trick the government is at wicked fucking high and is doesn't have a pen high? <laughs> <laughs> and like two beers in like there's oh. definitely like, like just anytime anybody who's been high is like yeah i'm i'm definitely well very high what if we went to Bennigan's? Like, like <laughs> it was like it was like that level of adventure that was just like on on display but 
I was I was thrilled when Josie called back and 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 the trick got uh, done and that was uh, uh, and that was and that was adorable. Oh, it so. was great. It, it it was really really good. Which is uh, I suppose part of the reason when you ask, can we talk about the thing from yesterday? Like instantly, I thought, uh, what happened? Uh, morning stuff, uh, dealing with Jason State stuff, blah, blah, blah. and then in my mind, it was like shot some stuff and then I was going on into the evening and for the life of me I couldn't figure what was noteworthy to talk about but then now having heard the other side of that yeah. tale uh <laughs> they're worth worth talking through <laughs> Uh, but I'm sure it'll be a great episode and now everybody needs to watch it because you'll be able to hear what I sound like when I'm put under magic method pressure <laughs> while wicked high I mean what's great roof. is I'm sure whatever weirdness was there, I attributed to, uh, oh, he's doing a character, uh, a very chillaxed <laughs> the government. <laughs> the government is very, very, very relaxed, Indian style uh, on his roof. With a sitar he's, playing in the background. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so speaking of Hearthstone, how, uh, what, you got six hours to try, garbage, try garbage. to make it? I'm bad at the game now, Brian. I'm oh. bad. I'm bad at the game. How? I, 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 I've, I've, I've just, I've gone on spurts. I'm in like rank, uh, seven, like, uh, seven uh, diamond, where, seven diamond. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I'll go on these spurts and then I'll just get shredded. And I've just, my, my current like pace is like I would need like two or three good sittings in like a row for me to really kind of advance. So at this and point, so I, you're not really thinking that's going to happen in the next six hours. It will not happen in the next six hours for sure. But uh, uh, in general, I would I would like to be good. I would like to be at least as good as I was at the game like two months ago where where I just find a nice little deck archetype that I know how to pilot and there's just been so much new shit and uh uh so yeah i'm not did you uh did you ever end up paying for hs replay no it's like 20 tw 20 bucks a year best no but i never play on the pc uh unless it has a thing on the phone um well you man i can't remember oh yeah what it does is you log in with your blizzard account and and it totally works on the phone and it knows it doesn't pay attention to every game you play but it knows what's in your uh, uh war chest so when it recommends a deck it go it, it tells you in advance like hey this deck costs you know 1600 dust this this get deck you can make right now just copy and paste it this deck you can do is whatever it like an app can uh, it's it on an app? It, it's a it's a website hsreplay.net and then okay, it doesn't and, have no app or nothing. Uh, correct. And then you, but but you do log into the website, and then it it logs into your Blizzard account, and then um, and then it knows that stuff, and uh, it's, it's pretty pretty good. Take take a little peek, see at that meta, that they're meta. Grab them dicks. Yeah, we will, we will. I don't know why I'm royal weeing it, but uh, I will. It'll no, be, I mean, uh, it'll let's it'll make it literal time. we. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to help. I want to be there. Look, you were there when I crossed the threshold. I want to be there when you cross. I would threshold. like to. I would. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I was playing that spell mage, and that spell mage was rocking and rolling for a little bit, and then, uh, and then it kind of fell apart, and I. And then I went back to the deck that you hit legend on because that's what I was doing before. And uh, that rocked and rolled for a little bit. Although I very much appreciated the the advice that you gave on um, uh, the, on the angry, angry chicken, chicken, which, by the way, I'm just like just with that with that deck, just play just dumb moves like just like like if you look at like, what's the dumbest thing I could do right now <laughs> with this turn? Like, just do it just to be like fucking wild card, because at the end of the day, that deck is like full steam ahead and there's really not a lot of ways that you can totally fuck a a turn like yeah. it's all pretty much built to go right ahead well and and uh also uh getting very good feedback on our appearance from the angry chicken which i'm very happy about i'm glad it was listenable it was it was a very frustrating experience to do the entire thing uh uh in in a bygone era i would have melted down like in in, in a bygone era i I wouldn't have been able. One of my least favorite things on the planet in general is being laughed at for tech things. I don't know what 
primal part of my brain it triggers things things but aren't it, your fault and it's like no 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 fault me for my poor comedy writing not for this yes. technical bullshit don't let me lose on a technicality make me lose because yeah. i'm bad and so uh like whenever the worst is when your internet is going out and you can hear everybody laugh at your own funeral like as as you're dying and and it's just like whoa robot freeze yeah. look at mr robot freeze meh, 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 meh. Uh, or or it'll just be like randomly meh, 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 meh. and you're like wait what, what? <laughs> why why What's would happening? somebody just suddenly interrupt me to start mocking me and then you exactly. realize like yeah it's and so uh uh in that situation where it's like it was a super loose episode. It was super fun. It was such a great time to hang with everybody. And it's mostly just a thing of Brian and I being just hilarious and inappropriate. And and I, there were some really, really funny jokes. But every once in a while, whenever I wanted to get into one of those, you know, seven of clovers, uh, uh, the government kind of riffs, it just like it keeps every five seconds. There's like my voice slapping back to me which led a few times to me just like i was having a stroke just like <laughs> like right my sentence just like crumbling at the very end which erupts in laughter for everybody but it's like uh, i'll tell you what it was good because i felt like you want to know what technical problem it was better to solve it than than the other solutions that we had that was the best that we could do at the moment and i'm with my friends it's okay if they are laughing at the fact that i'm slurring as if my brain well, and, has become and, and disconnected plus also i think i think you know i felt safe that our giggles were because we've all been there and we know the the hell that you're going through and that's I mean, why yes, <laughs> there there is an intellectual brain <laughs> that's not the brain that gets offended with shit like that. That's like, true. What gets offended with shit like that is some primal, like the piss your pants on the schoolyard and kindergarten. And now everybody's laughing. Like there's, there's some childhood, uh, 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 primordial thing in my brain that gets triggered when that happens, but it shows you how much there is, there is an overriding element of love that it, that it all came together. It also meant when I listened back to some of the things that I had to speak in a very specific kind of way. Like I had, I started like having this kind of like, Hey, it was a lot of yelling and a lot of just like, how did up the cadence? <laughs> the cadence means that I am always speaking when it would slap back in my face. And if I keep doing the cadence and then I end on, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh, by, by the way, on that deck, uh, the, uh, it, it's not just that you want to do random things, but specifically stuff like, like make plays. You can't back up. Like there are certain cards that you only want to play if you're prepared to do the gotcha follow-up on the following move. Um, but it's like, I would play them without having the gotcha follow-up yeah. for the other move, which would be an inherently stupid thing to do. But I knew that playing that card would make them think like, well, clearly he's got the gotcha second card ready, so I better drop everything and fuck with this dude. And then it's yeah. all, I'm like, ha ha, you wasted your time, motherfucker. Here's another guy that's supposed to have something ready. Do I have it? Who knows? Take a guess, Dick Wad. <laughs> Ride that to legend. <laughs> Spin the wheel. Make a deal. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah well, no, well, I'm, 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 I'm uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to I it. Did, I, mean, I did think it's very funny that... Uh, that that the whole world was up in arms about a thing that you and I were utterly clueless about. And that's all, like, I loved just being the ignorant toddlers in the room. Yeah. There was one, there was one or two jokes that were really, really funny. Like, uh, uh, that they're on the angry chicken. If you like Hearthstone, listen to us on the angry chicken. It was, yeah. It was fucking, it was fucking he hilarious. High hilarious. Uh, not as, not as high as uh, scam nation though. <clears throat> No, not that episode. Whenever it comes out, make sure that everybody. It, oh, everybody uh, somebody was asking it. what the turnaround is. It'll be in the next two, two to three weeks at the most, I think. Maybe yeah. even this next week. It's a. Uh, it's been a minute since we've done a card trick. Have you done any uh, shopping? Shopping for your friends and family. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday, uh, 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 Co-op uh, Wednesday. 
uh, uh, Feetin Thursday where you only buy <laughs> from Thursdays. Scientologists. Uh, For Scientologists. And also yeah. you only buy copies of Dianetics and make sure to return them in perfect condition so they can be resold as new mint condition. Yep, exactly. French Friday where you just buy... Uh, fast food, and then save it until Christmas Day. Satan uh, Saturday, aka <laughs> Saturday. Exactly, but uh, yeah, but but mostly you just atone with the Balfamet and uh, give him <laughs> your undying loyalty. Uh, and and then of course, uh, a uh, 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 Saint Sunday, uh, where uh, you only uh, where, where you where you contract football players to play with the New Orleans professional team. <laughs> I I do all those, Justin. Uh, the no, I haven't I haven't been on the consumption side of things just yet. Although Bonnie's doing a good job of sketching out most of that for the fam. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to it right now. Of course, I'm supposed to be selling. Um, and, uh, uh, fun, fun, uh, fun problem to have like this year, yeah. you know, if you've been following the emails and all that, we're, uh, the message is basically, uh, fuck it. Fuck you. 2020. Uh, we're, we're just going to make everything lowest prices. Uh, uh, and, and so you- no, no big bargain on Thursday, no big bargain on Friday, no big bargain today on Monday nope. for the last few, uh, uh, days over a week, you have just said, we are blowing out this store. We are literally ravaging everything. Yep. Uh, we want to be done with this year. And as soon as like, like, like a, like a tech, like a good Texas barbecue, when all the shit is gone, we're fucking closing the store. And that's a wrap. Right. Which man, did that sound like a good idea when we started it? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so two things about lowering your price is very low. Uh, number one, you don't make very much money that way. So yeah. we've effectively, blown out of a lot of things i i believe we're up to to like <laughs> like if we count all the variants of of skews we're out of like 85 things now uh which yeah or you know like in you know has 40 different items and we're not a very big store right so so i think it's safe to so say nice. that we're sold out of about half of everything that we offer um so we've sold half of everything we offer and we don't have it and we've not made a lot of money because we made our prices very low um and then now here we are with oh 24 days of shopping before Christmas and we're starting to get the emails of man I really wanted to get a blank. <laughs> and then and now is the moment that I'm realizing oh shit there's a reason we do that verily that, that verily. <laughs> Yay, verily. 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 <laughs> we uh, uh, mark our prices a uh, doth perchance uh, low. Uh, uh, for, for a pikeman's knee sword need not see the top of our price. A pikeman's knee sword. The, um, so so uh, I realized, oh, wait, there's a reason that we do this very carefully crafted dance every year, and it's so that we can maximize the number of people who are happy and minimize the number of people who are starting to send me emails every day now about... Uh, being bummed out that things are not available and, and just and just so folks know from from a behind the scenes perspective uh holiday shopping black friday sales are in in very you know they're like a show they're like a concert that you go see there's right. a lot of stuff that happens beforehand that makes the surge that you're going to see in sales worthwhile it is its own tricky dance of betting how much you're going to sell versus how much you're going to sell and then you put the price in between there now it's not impossible from this point like 24 days out to get new shit in but it is very erratic and nothing is promised and also the closer you get to christmas the the more you uh, uh, you know are are really gambling on like Oh, wait, if we now buy more of these widgets, right, yep. and we sell more of these widgets, and then all of a sudden, the widget factory is like, oops, turns out uh, uh, we uh, wheels busted on the mule train, and we get, can't get it to you. Now you are on the hook because you just disappointed a bunch of people. So it's like, now I, I presume that you are in the situation where you're trying to figure out exactly how and when you can get more shit in and whether or not you can and whether or not we can it. even tell people that we're going to have yeah. more shit in you know it's like um uh you uh, man it's really playing with fire for for very poor odds it's like um 
if we do well, we manage to make very little money per product um, and, and come out with a bit of scratch and have to rebuild inventory all over again. But if we fuck up somebody's Christmas, and that's the thing, every single one of these is a Christmas yep. and it's ours to fuck up. And the way you fuck it up is by saying something will get there and it doesn't get there or saying yep. that, 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 that you've got plenty in stock and you don't have plenty in stock or saying like, like uh, we have to, God damn. It's like, it's like the downside is immeasurable on a per person ba basis. Uh, yep. and the upside is minimal on a per person basis, but in the aggregate, um, we can maximize our chances of fucking up Christmas for people by getting as many people as possible to clear us out of everything. And then, uh, so that's, that's where we're at now. But, um, so not only is that the, the story for, there's some stuff we'll be able to refill or whatever, but all, uh, so I don't know, uh, where we're at right now though, is there's enough people and it's, uh, and there's, we're so little of everything, which by the way, a uh, pretty good indication that, that our, our, our fuck it pricing is not a gimmick. <laughs> like it's, I'll tell you what, a I lot, mean, of, lot of sold outs on this page. The, 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 the good news is it worked. <laughs> you set out a strategy. The strategy worked. You are, are, uh, you wanted to sell out of a ton of <laughs> stuff. Sold you outs. sold out of a ton of stuff. Yeah. So, uh, I think what we're going to do is we weren't, we weren't planning to, we got this whole, like other line of products that we've been sitting on and we weren't going to do it till January. It was going to be January's big release, but we have them and we have enough of them that I think quite literally to, to continue to be a store, we're going to have to, we're going to, I'm going to send out an email pretty much as soon as we're done here saying, yeah, we sold out of everything. Introducing our new line of 10 new items. <laughs> we've got some stuff. And so, uh, uh, hopefully if you're, if you're uh, interested, Oh, we're, by the way, we're talking about scamstuff.com. It occurs to me that maybe yeah. one person out there doesn't know what we're talking about. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So uh, I, I feel good that a lot of people are getting bargains. I feel bad that, uh, that, that you said your price is too low. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then that we're selling out of everything, but I'll feel good again when a lot of people will be happy that, well, Hey, here's a bunch of new items that, that, that we're, you know, releasing a month ahead of schedule. You'd rather do it this way. Like if it's going to go the way it went, you would rather that you get those sold outs as fast as you did versus getting the sold outs closer to the holiday season. Right. right? Because, right. because you're like, okay, well it worked great. Well now I can be happy or, or middle of the road or sad about exactly what that money is right, which you could have seen from the other side of it, but now it's actually real, and you're like, "Oh, well, shit, that went really fucking fast." Uh, yep. Uh, or, you know, but now you can you can re uh, re re reconfigure. Yeah. So if you're on that list, get ready for an email and a surprise. A, a, a hooray? Question mark. It's really it's really weird because it's like I just want to make everyone happy. Well, I mean, I think that you will. And and I I think that there is a story to tell of like, all right, so we thought a lot of this stuff, we thought you guys would buy way slower. And we thought that these things would seamlessly kind of like one would come in as the other was fading out and there wouldn't be a valley. Well, here I sit uh, like fucking Brigham Young in this fucking continental divide and uh, now I have to tell you that there's new shit coming. And congratulations. Here's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So I just realized I'm I like this is close enough to the actual job of writing the email that that part of my brain is want to swing full into work mode. And the bigger part of my brain has to be like, hey, man, whoa, whoa, whoa focus over here you're doing yeah, yeah, you're yeah. doing happy hour with justin 15 more minutes 15 <laughs> more minutes we're adjusting back to an hour guys i know we've been working back up to it uh we're getting we're getting better and better and uh uh, uh there's less and less uh uh, uh oh, i guess a very brief sad uh, uh, uh sadness update 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 um uh yeah moved the, the last of the stuff out of jay's apartment um and uh 
still still have to go through all that stuff. So there's occasionally, man, it's really hard to switch gears. It's like when when I'm in sad mode, like, hey man, I get it. This is sad mode. Here's where we're at. And then all of a sudden, lights, camera, and the press show up, and it's just like, would you like to make a statement on being happy? <laughs> and it's and it's like, whoa, uh, hold on, need need a second to readjust, and then you get back into happy mode, and and uh, it's uh, it's it's I a mean, real to- trick. To say that you're going through some shit right now is is an understatement. Yeah, uh, it, and- it, it has been it has been it has been uniquely hellish. Um, in in all in all seriousness, like it's uh, uh and even like, dude, if you, HQ is uniquely like your property is is uniquely your brain, like as like made manifest. Like there is the night attack portion. There is the cord killers portion. There oh, is only the, they're, the ge- they're geographically separated. It's like the yeah. phrenology chart of, of the Brian brain made, made into physical location, right down, right down to the very little tiny place. I go to hide from all the work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? right around the corner. There's a gigantic fucking, uh, uh, uh you know, sound stage area. Like, oh and my there's God. Like a, there's, there's, there's all this stuff. Right. And now you Hold literally. On, I, I think you. I think you really blew my mind, man. I. I. I, I wish I was with you on on the roof so that I could send <laughs> this into high thoughts. Um, the uh, uh, because like right down to sort of the uh, I forget which is uh, what's what's the unconscious where where like ideas just pop up out of nowhere. I mean that's that back acreage where where yeah. you know take calls and walk around. Wow, the extrovert part. Wow. Okay. All right. Sorry. And literally, you just like move some of Jay's stuff into your brain yep right like you move jay's stuff like you now have an element of your physical workspace for which is the like let me work through these these feelings zone right and and it is as valid as an emotional expression as performance as business strategy as uh, uh uh you know physical production of of items or whatever like any of the other places that you that all have have functions that's just as valid and and it's it's wild man like there's there's not a whole lot uh there's not a whole lot of experiences that you could even compare to something like that yeah yeah no and uh and and certainly i mean on the one hand i'm i'm kind of surprised that you know it took me until you know my mid 40s to to have a year like this you know it's like uh at some point i was like man statistically speaking it seems like something really terrible should have happened to me by now <laughs> and then, uh, but but i mean i fought that for for years and years and then i guess there are things that that were legitimately terrible but nothing seems as terrible as the the right now terrible well uh, yeah because it fucking sucks <laughs> it's fucking really 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 bad and uh there's yeah i mean uh, 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 i'll i'm glad that there is at least some finality to his apartment yeah like and, I, and i think that, it's going to get a lot easier now that that it's more of 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 his stuff in our space and not us in his you know his uh, projection of himself you know which is yeah a different different animal oh fucking jay, yeah. fucking jay. <laughs> there was a, uh yeah i i, I don't think uh uh, we shouldn't probably tell tales out of school, but like, I, I, I know. Uh, we, we, well, I mean, he he ain't gonna but, complain. <laughs> but 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 no, uh, but there's. I, I, would, I, would, I would I would I would defer I would defer to you. No, it, like I know I know one of Jay's plans was to you know want to start a podcast or whatever, and then uh, and you know you hear you hear someone say stuff like that and i'm like hey man just so you know it's a real you know it's it's a real job you're gonna have to pro- provide value for a really long time i'll be happy to help you on the mechanics and that kind of stuff and whatever and then and and he's like yeah yeah no i'm gonna get ready i'm really working on it and it's like you never know when you're dealing with somebody in jay's position whether or not you're getting the really gonna or the you know as something's actually happening or whatever but it's like uh uh, uh, going through the apartment, found a found a, found a, a bunch of not just podcasting equipment, good podcasting equipment, which simultaneously made me, uh, uh, my 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 in the moment animal brain was like, oh, good, it's not all garbage, you know. Here's here's some really good stuff. And then you know the other part of my brain is like, yeah, I guess Jay was serious. And then and I texted you a picture of some of the equipment, and, and you and and it's like, I mean, what else can you say outside of like, 
fucking Jay. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally, literally what I texted back was just fucking Jay. Like, just, just, you fucking, oh, God, I wish you were good so I could yell mean things at you. Like, ah, oh. like, it, it just, it just, it, it shows you that there's a gap between, like, humanity that, that there there is this spa- there there are spaces and there's spaces that we create ourselves there's spaces that are naturally occurring but it's like when you see that and you see like no he did things he committed money he he was he took he wanted to do it he wanted like and he was sitting there uh he was sitting there in the chat and people were throwing up hams for Jay. And he, I bet you fucking looked over there and looked at his goddamn mound of gaffers tape and his fucking new equipment. And was just like, yup, this is a thing that I could do. I could, I could come on right after night attack or I could do this other thing. I could be a Twitch stream. I could be a podcast. And like, it, it's, it's, you know, now from our perspective, if we could get into a time machine. We'd be like fucking, I'm handcuffing you and we're sitting down and we're recording a show and we're not leaving until you at least go through the process and and understand whether or not this would have took, like if this would have brought you some level of like, Oh, cool work and polish equals product. that well, I, and, and I feel that's the real tricky thing that I wish more people understood about podcasting and live streaming and production in general is you have to, if you knew for a fact that you would never make a single dime would you do it? And then, yeah. and, and, and if the, and it's not just enough to say, of course I would. And then I add the word forever and you would yeah. always do it forever. And you might never make a single dime. Then all of a sudden people are like, well, I mean, I want this to be a job at some point. I'm like, what if it's not, what if it's never going to be a job and you're never going to make a dime? Uh, would you still do it forever? And I, and I, and I think, you know, night attack and our work, uh, passes, passes that sniff test, you know? And, um, uh, but, but for man, in, in this age where 2020, the year everyone got a podcast, uh, it's a, it's, it's a, uh, there are more people that, that need to really think, think that through. And that's, that's one of those, um, uh, one of those messages that, uh, that I would tell uh, people in the abstract. And I did tell Jay, you know, while, while he was working on this, but, but, but that's as far as we got on it. And it was only when I discovered the equipment that I, saw that, oh, he was serious. You know, he, 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 even after hearing all that warning off about, you know, what a grind it is to live stream and to do podcasts and stuff, he still seemed to want to do it, which, you know, uh, uh, you know, that, 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 that was, that was a, that was a fucking Jay moment, you know? I mean, and it just, it's one of those things where it, you don't know whether to feel fucking like, this was the best, like if Jay didn't do podcasting or live streaming, living next door to Mike TV and being related to you being your brother, then you don't know whether to feel like, well, then that was never going to happen. Like that was like, you know, like there was uh, everything laid out for him and, and, and he couldn't do it. Or if it was just like, uh, but uh, maybe there, maybe it was not just a little, and it's like, <sighs> fucking Jay, fucking Jay. <laughs> like because people are saying in, in the chat that you know Jay would have crushed fucking as a Twitch streamer, and I think more than me or you or or anybody else in 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 the Diamond Club thing, like a guy who just wants to sit there and you just fucking immediately pour yourself into of course but you want to know what the like brian said in any of this shit like you better know yourself and you better be okay with staring into the void of that especially for twitch when you're just starting even jay having a little bit of a leg up with like an audience that kind of knows him you better be real fucking cool looking into that empty chat room and, and pretending nobody talk <laughs> pretend like, pretend that that everybody's clapping for you talk like and that's i think that's part of uh, our our shared fascination with people who pull off a one mic radio program is because yeah. you can tell like they're having the complete conversation and they never let it drop and they they're able to imagine the people on the other end yeah and uh so yeah 
I see you uh, in the chat says, shh, nobody talk. Ha ha. We spent the last 12 years building up a tolerance to Iocane powder. Like, exactly. like we're fucking ready. Yeah. I, oh, I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, look, the, the one thing is that as you become immune to wondering whether or not people are listening, uh, the, the thing that replaces it is, am I going to say a thing that ruins me? So it's like, yeah, because it's like, you, look, you, you like, don't make the mistake of thinking it's a private conversation <laughs> because yeah, when, even though like, you're look, the only one in the room, <laughs> if I'm worried about repeating a line from an eighties movie, then I'm not worried about nobody listening. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about enough people listening that they're going to be like, fuck you. You're canceled. Boo. Main character of Twitter. Uh, so the end of November, beginning of December, I guess we're looking forward to, uh, happy Christmas times. I assume, do you think, do you think Christmas is going to travel? Christmas is going to be canceled the way, I guess it is the same way that, that oh, travel I don't Thanksgiving think anything's going to change. Yeah, yeah. If anything, it's like, you know, we were already kind of spiking in cases and then we had all the Thanksgiving travel. So you presume we will see a spike in cases. Oh past yeah. That. Oh, that and will so, be the difference is because three weeks from now it will be a tangible thing. Yeah. It won't be a th right. It, yeah. it, it was a theoretical boogeyman. And then, and then I, I think we could probably expect to see it. it. It'll be a practical real one. And we were already kind of seeing this spike. So, you know, we'll, we'll see. I don't think that anything, you know, is, is in any way, uh, quote unquote, back to normal until like April at the earliest. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. All right. Well, uh, Oh man, I guess that's it. We could, we could wrap it. Oh, uh, you have any happy thoughts? Anything make you just randomly smile in the last uh, few days? Uh, being high as hell screaming about how I'm, all, I'm the government. <laughs> like, hey, I'll tell you what, once I got past the, once I got past being terrified of screwing up this rudimentary children's magic trick, it was sure, it was sure a delight to, to make uh, you and, and Josie laugh. Oh, that's amazing. All right. Look, uh, that's perfect. We'll, we'll go out on that one. Uh, thank you for everybody who hangs out with us for a happy hour. Happy hour.